Pretty cool looking rig. Cowl induction hood, LEDs, some crazy dually three spoke works wheels. Got like a body kit on it. Dually 4x4 Duramax Allison 3500 HD. Quite the rig. Back rack. So it's a 3500 HD Allison Duramax, I guess. Oh, that's a mouthful. Fancy. Sort of looks like a Denali truck. So the customer states that the door handle is loose. And yes, it sure is. So that could be either broken on this side or the bolt could be loose. We'll have to get in there and see what it's all about. It's gonna be uh, removing the interior door panel. Seems to be a common problem for these trucks to go through door handles and there's a cable operated, cable operated door handles. So some of them have a vertical armrest like the Avalanche and there's a cap on it, you have to take that cap off. But in this case here, there's a cap behind the, behind the armrest there. And there's two 10 millimeter bolts. There's another cap behind here. That's one 10 millimeter bolt. There's this, this has to be free or removed this triangle here. And it just pops out, this just pops out, this just pops out. And there's one tab here. This has to be up. So this smaller clip here has to be popped out. If you have a long extension, I'm just using the quarter inch drive, but if you have a long extension, that makes it handy. and they're gonna spin the bolts out. But if you have an avalanche or an escalade or something, it's probably the vertical one. Next thing you wanna do is pop out your switches, whether it's driver side or passenger side, I don't think it matters too much, but they do just pop out. This one has four plugs. So you just push, you just push this button here and then you can pull it out. I'm gonna have to set down my camera for a minute probably. Oof. But there's a locking tab here. You don't really have to worry too much because they're labeled, so that's pretty cool. Got the triangle off. Got the bolt out of there. Got these two bolts out of here. Wires are undone. Some of them slide straight up and then out. This one appears to have the pop uh, pop in style, so they just they just pop in with these push tabs straight in. So you're just gonna pull them straight out. And I popped all the clips out around the bottom and side, so the door pad is free. She's free here and i think it'll lift up that's why you have to undo this here because it'll lift up like that Ooh, up up and away and i had to undo this this is the actual interior door handle i think they're known for handles and cables these trucks so i had to undo the cable 
and there's a two stage you squish the case and you release the case first and then you pull up on the center ball I don't have my tripod here so I and I was trying to hold the door pad floating and hold the camera and I had to undo this so I had to set the camera down but you squeeze these you squeeze these together and then the case will pull out and it'll rotate in there too so if you need to get at the other side I usually squeeze one side and then sort of cant it and then I squeeze the other side and pull it and then the ball just comes straight up and if you're if you need to get at your cable that's your cable there that runs your interior handle so I've been into that before on these trucks I think it's a common problem this here if you're very careful you can pull the glue if you're very careful I'm not being very careful maybe maybe very careful enough but you can pull this back and we'll see if the bolts are there if they're broken why the exterior handle is loose I can hear the latch when I pull on the cable I can hear the latch I don't know if you can hear it or not but oops anyway so that works um, it's a little bit tricky getting this off so have some patience if you don't want to hold it up by yourself you can undo these yellow clips and then the cable will have more slack and maybe you can set the door pad down on the ground if you take these clips off because it's cable operated and you have slack so you can move it around that's the door handle right there and that's me pulling on it and if you pull too hard the whole handle comes out a little bit if you look you can see the bolt still there and it's tight so the handle is the nut part inside of the handle has come loose from the plastic the bolts come through from the inside there's a nut in here built into the plastic handle a little brass insert so that's the nut in there and the nut is tight the bolts tight but it's actually loose from the plastic so either the door handle needs to be replaced because the nut is but there's nothing wrong with the door handle that you could probably epoxy that back that nut back in there I don't know if you look inside towards the latch up up and away that goes to the exterior door handle up in there I unclipped that yellow clip there and that holds the, the rod and I'm just gonna pull the whole rod out I think And the handle is unbolted on both sides, but if you pull the front out, there's a little dowel pin. If you pull that dowel pin out and then just wiggle it forward a little bit like that, it has a hook, so it has to come forward a little bit. And then the connecting rod, you can see this hook here. So it has to come forward a little bit. The connecting rod will come up, up and away. Up, up and away. And then there's this, the connecting rod is hooked with this S. So it's pretty hard to pull it out unless you pull the whole rod out first and then you can assemble it. So with this one, I think what's happening is these nuts, this one's rusty but it seems to work. That one seems to work. I think this one in the back here is pulled away. You can see, you can see how it's pulling away. It's actually spinning in there. So you could either glue it back in there or replace the whole handle. I assume a lot of people will be replacing the whole handle, but that's how you remove it. And to reassemble, reinstall is going to be the same thing, only reverse. Just play this video in reverse, and that's how you put it back together again. <laughs> yeah. 
there she is new i just gotta put the cap back on here oh that bolt came out i thought i was gonna have to use a magnet to get it She's a dually 4x4 with a body kit. 